Hi, it's Danny here with another EdTech video, and in this video I want to take a look at some of the options you've got available for browser-based interactive whiteboard software. In particular, I want to take a look at Lumio from Smart, Classflow from Promethean, ProWise Presenter, Google Jamboard, and also some other extra ones like Whiteboard Chat and Whiteboard.fi. Now one of the questions I get asked a lot on interactive whiteboard training is where to get the software from, and it used to be a real pain because you used to have to install the software, there was always a license key involved, you had to get a license key from the network supervisor or whoever, and it was always a pain, and I worked a lot with student teachers and schools are very hesitant to give the students the, the, the license key, and so you found that people didn't have the software. Also, if they were moving from classroom to classroom, they may have a smart board in one classroom and a Promethean board in another classroom, and the software just wasn't the same. In the last few years, things have changed a bit, and a lot of the software now is browser-based. And that's really good, because you don't need to install it. You can get your software and just run it. Um, and most of these bits of software now are free, um, or at least they're free with freemium extras. The downside of this is you need an internet connection all the time, and it needs to be reliable, uh, and also you are going to need a, an up-to-date browser and also sometimes you're at the vagaries of the of the school network um, and what's allowed through and what's not and sometimes things get blocked and if all that's in place you've got wi-fi you've got a decent browser then there's some good op they're not as high featured as as the standard desktop software some of them are getting better um, but they will do basic features and quite often these days people are overwhelmed by all the whistles and bells that the whiteboard software does and so let's have some something slightly simpler so let's start by taking a look at lumio from smart it is a very basic version of smart you do have the ability to move things around on the screen you can put text on the screen there is an equation editor where you can put equations, chemical equations and maths equations on the screen. And if you want to insert things like shapes and lines and images and hyperlinks, they're all there. You've got an online image search here or you can upload your own pictures to it. You can convert the pages into activities and workspaces. There's a whole collaborative thing going on that you can use and you can add audio as well if you've got a microphone working. When you finish in editing, there's a different mode you can then have for presenting these um, whiteboard files. You can write on top, you can move them around, uh, you can erase and add extra text and so on. And all these bits of whiteboard software, I'll do a longer video in the future, looking at them all in a little bit more detail. If you are a Promethean user and you want to use Promethean Classflow, Promethean Planet as a website has now vanished. It's all been replaced by Classflow and Classflow is an, an online version of Active Inspire. So you've got your basic features here. So we have got shapes and we've got text and we've got your annotation tools, uh, eraser. There's a toolbox which gives you things like protractors and compasses, the things you'd expect from Active Inspire in the past. A camera tool for setting images from your camera as well as um, assessment tools links and so on so you have a lot of the features you'd expect and again if you go into um, the insert you can insert things from your resources you can also insert um, images and, and such like from, from other places if you want to you can search here and go into uh, images from Bing or YouTube videos uh, and other resources that are held on on the Classflow site if I leave this and I exit the builder um, you see all your resources here and there's lots of other things that you can do with them the marketplace will give you access to ready-made resources which is very good again I'll do Classflow in more detail in the future ProWise Presenter currently on version 10 there used to be a, a downloadable version and a, and a web version it seems to be now they're mainly pushing the, the web version again it's free um, you just sign up for a ProWise account and you get access to a pretty fully featured whiteboard um, software and cloud based system where you store your files in the cloud you've got pens and shapes and text um, rulers and set squares and so on uh, you also have access to a gallery of resources and sounds and interactive widgets images 3d widgets and so on um, things like a timer here which I can set up to provide a timed activity on the screen in case we're trying to solve solve an anagram and reveal the answer so again very fully featured lots of things that you can do on it I really do like ProWise 10 as that is free so, so go and check it out another one that's that's worth a look it's it's not as fully featured as um, some of the others I've just shown it's Google Jamboard um, Google Jamboard is very basic in terms of what you can do but it's got the collaborative feature which, which I really like so you have got um, a pen you've got an eraser you've got a selection tool you can add post-it notes on the screen and you can add images shapes and text that's about it it's quite cut down but what I like about it is if I want to share this and this way I click on share I can fire off the link um, to a group of people and I've been using this a lot on uh, zoom on lockdown I've also been using it in, in the classroom if, if students have devices um, is to get them collaborating on drawings so an example is an activity here which is basically I've got an outline of the body 
um, over several pages and I've used to put the students into breakout groups and group one worked on page one and group two worked on page two and four or five students could be in the group on their own devices collaborating on here or if you've maybe got tables and a device each they can be drawing on an iPad or they can be drawing on a laptop and everything that they draw on the screen will appear on here for everybody else to see. So it's quite nice for collaboration, it's quite nice for brainstorming, it's quite nice for um, throwing activities out to a group of people who are remote um, or if we're in the classroom we can still be collaborating and everybody can be seeing the results of a, of a brainstorming session or a, a collaborative um, ideas session so Google Jamboard if you've got a Google account Google Drive etc it comes as part of that as part of Google Workspace so check in there you'll, you'll find it works on iPads and, and so on another one that's worth a look is whiteboard chat it's free um, again with extras so the free version has um, adverts and a few other things disabled but if you pay there are different tiers of access that give you more and less less features so it's definitely worth a look uh, again it's got a lot of the tools that the other ones have got plus the ability to have multiple boards and, and, and share these with with students and have them um, interacting with the board and a final one which I also really like another one I really like is whiteboard.fi or whiteboard.fi again this is being up graded soon there are some new features coming I think you can look at the beta now if you want to you have a whiteboard of your own which you can draw on and you can push that whiteboard out to students you get given a class code and with that class code you can have all the students drawing on individual whiteboards and you can see everything that they do um, and I've used that again on Zoom for having students drawing plants and flowers and then sending me their, their impressions of what a plant and a flower might look like and labeling it. But also I can add drawings here and I can push that out to them. So you could start off a basic diagram here. So maybe you could start a diagram that you want them. I'm drawing with a mouse, this is really bad. Bing, 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 there we go. Um, I can then push that out to the whole class and then they can have the page, they can have the current page, and then they'll all see that picture and they can add to that picture. So I can actually use this as a, as a starting point for, a, again, within a class. If they've all got devices, they can write on their things and send them back to me, or I can be doing this across Zoom, and most of what I was using this for was, was during lockdown with Zoom. I'd be firing out a whiteboard link in the chat, they'd be drawing, adding their um, sketches and so on, and then we could all see what everybody else is drawing. It's really good fun. So there's six different online browser-based interactive whiteboard tools that you can use. These all work through the browser. They will all work through any device. So the beauty of a lot of these now is they're iPad friendly as well as Chromebook friendly and, and laptop and so on. So check out the free versions. If you like some of these, then there are there are pay options if you want to do that and see if your school will go for that. But if you're a smart board school or a Promethean school, obviously you might be leaning more to one or the other. The beauty of these are they're platform independent. Hope you found the video useful. Useful. There'll be more videos uh, coming down the line. I'll be looking at some of these in a little bit more detail, as well as other aspects of educational technology. As always, uh, please uh, like and subscribe if you if you like these videos and you find them useful. It gives me the incentive to make some more. Uh, please let me have your comments in uh, below and um, let me know which bits you like and which bits you want me to, to do more on. I'll put a link in the YouTube description, which will take you to the blog post, which will have some more about these. I'll, I'll write this as a blog post as well. So again, thank you very much for your time. Please uh, keep an eye out for more videos and I hope to see you all again soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.